So hello there and welcome back to another video of mine. I have a trench mag again and this looks a little bit different than the last one. You see all of the tech down there is gone. Um, here I also cut a little bit shorter. Um, yeah, this thing is getting pretty small <laughs> um, and also faster. So this thing is again faster. Uh, this is now version 4 because Cadenda actually uh, made this thing not bump it to, uh, into world height limit, but uh, he made an extended piston up there and just shortened the entire version to be only 100 blocks or so, I don't know, like 95 or so, I don't know. <laughs> and I just use that now as my as my next version because um, you can download my last version and just change the middle logic and just add more of these and add more of these extensions here, the extensions down there. Um, I will explain this machine. Okay, so first, why did I change it? So on our server, I had uh, we we ran lots of these machines, um, and the problem with them was they were first really slow, but that's just how <laughs> trench machines are really slow. Um, but they also failed a lot, and they failed mostly for us when the flying machine uh, landed on some cobble generated at the lowest layer right here. So the flying machine would be one block above, the pistons would be not here but here, and the entire machine would be uh, one block higher, and it would be also stop one block higher. And that's like the worst case scenario of what you can possibly have, <laughs> because then uh, the flying machine here in the back that was here uh, would still push the entire machine forward. And that's just very annoying. You need to uh, dig down the entire main flying machine and rebuild it again because there's no way of, well, saving it. <laughs> um, and I fixed this. And actually, it was in place for such a long time that I never realized how great this is. <laughs> so, uh, what, what this thing is, essentially, here is that um, to know had this sort of safe here for a long time. So he had uh, this until here with only one block here and I never knew why this was here. It has no rhyme or reason why it is here, like literally none. It's so useless. <laughs> um, and I, I thought, yeah, I could just add an extension here and just push the flying machine with that because the this can only be pushed forwards if the flying machine went all the way down, yeah. And I also pushed it from the top. That also makes the machine faster with not using any instant stuff, which is great because if you push from the top and the flying machine after that flies upwards, um, it will also um, what did I want to say? <laughs> It can start directly, so it doesn't have to wait for the entire thing to be pushed forwards. It can start when the very top, when, when the engine is pushed forward, basically. Then it can already start. Like uh, When this line activates, so when the flying machine lands on here, it can directly start up again. It's, it's really fast and really great. <laughs> um, yeah, this makes the machine like couple of seconds faster without all of this uh, pushing delay down here that propagated through it's like a couple of seconds I don't, uh, a couple of seconds I don't know not that much mm. and voiding actually said that it's it's very annoying to activate this machine I can't really or he said that it's imp I don't know what he said he said he, he made a better activation at the bottom with the redstone block uh, I don't believe that there was a better Activation. I, I really don't believe that. <laughs> uh, if you just have a slime block or any block, you can have any block. Just the redstone block won't work because that just will lose this piston and the uh, flying machine won't work. <laughs> but <laughs> exactly, block that he used doesn't work. But the only thing you really need to do is um, you just need to place a block here. Just here. And this piston that will update and start the 13, I think it was 13, I, I haven't worked with this type of uh, trench maker for a while now, I think it was 13 game ticks. 
I will just push this forward. There we push this up. It's a flying machine. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, see it running. I've just pasted this here. Now the safe has pushed this forward. So the safe is actually quite interesting. It uses the push limit, like most saves actually. <laughs> um, so what it does is it can't push this forwards because these four blocks are in the way. This is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is just 16, that's just too much. <laughs> um, so what it does is uh, when, when it flies up again, it will push this forwards. And then uh, these 12 blocks can be pushed when it goes back down. Good. Now, the pistons are going up. The pistons are for removing liquids in this direction. Okay, we aren't getting any blocks yet, and I completely forgot something, and that is to activate the TNT tuber. <laughs> so you should do that before you start the flying machine, yeah, definitely. Um, because when the... Oh, it's laying again, I don't know why. So um, when the pistons are up here, uh, they will push this forwards, and then this entire line gets broken through it. Let's see that. Yeah, and then it's going down again. That will also uh, push the push the TNT to performance. Okay. Now the flying machine is going down again. Yoo-hoo. With a nine game tick cycle, that makes it uh, pretty fast, actually. So, what this machine needs is it needs a too high space in the bottom that you just have to mine out manually or with a tunnel bore when you're building a query like it and on Mechanist. It would have probably been good if they had this machine here to build. Then this machine just goes back up again, uh, pushes it forwards, and directly starts to blow up blocks here. Would have been a fail if we had <laughs> explosions, no block damage on. Absolute fail. Well, let's speed this up. Take warp, I know, 3600. That will do it probably. No items currently dropping because items are just annoying to work with. It's just falling down. Then it's going down again. And up again. And yeah, that's that's sort of the entire cycle. I'm, uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we get the full item stream. That's pretty cool. Oh, 5 DPS, that's just... A little longer. See, there's an action for a little longer. <sighs> a little tired. Sorry for that. So you see, this machine is like always moving. It's it's uh, now actually at the limit. Can't really make this much faster. And uh, yeah. The thing that got changed really is that. When this flying machine doesn't go all the way down, it won't push forwards, uh, which sort of saves the flying machine. You can't really do anything with it, but what you could do, or what I would have uh, probably done, is I would have gone down, always just uh, went along the pistons here, and always punched out the slime block and placed it directly again. Come down, punch out the slime block, place it directly again. Um, actually from the bottom up. And then just, well, the machine just pushes one block further down. And the only thing you really have to do is uh, start the flying machine going downwards again. That's not so difficult because normally it is in a state where this piston is directly next to the redstone block, uh, but isn't updated yet. So you can just update the piston and then just go one block further down. You can see it starts directly. Which is quite good. Okay, 
I guess that was it now. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> Another thing that got improved really. Ah, oh. so yeah, kind of. I have. It's so dumb. It's literally so dumb because I right now just can't open light medic. I don't know. There's some sort of Pistola. Pistola is a great mod. You should all download Pistola. It's a great mod, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, so sometimes I just can't open light medica. It's really weird. <laughs> to stop it, you just uh, need to take warp zero, maybe. You can get to it <laughs> so fast. Uh, to stop it, you just have to play some movable object. Actually, I think any block will be enough. Yeah, just have to do this. And there we'll just stop and place maybe even a redstone block here. So any block here is enough because it's a push limit. And then you will, what you just have to do start again is push this down and push this up. It's, it's really easy. You can see here um, what this does is that it just pushes this forwards soon. <laughs> So it is down here, then the signal. Oh, wait, this is T. Of course, it doesn't work. Uh, well, it would have worked. <laughs> it's dumb now. Well, anyway, it would have worked. So this, this uh, thing would have pushed forwards and then I would have activated the top at the bottom there and would have updated the piston to move back down again. Okay, I, I won't re record this now because I recorded it already for so long. Not really for 12 minutes, but <laughs> I don't want to record it again. <laughs> Sorry for that failure. Well, you have, you really have to activate this TNT duper, otherwise, the machine will just fail on you. That's not something that you really want to have. <laughs> Just fail completely, oh my god. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, see you next time. I hope this is useful for you. It's only 1007 blocks. Um, so just about 1000 blocks this entire machine. Pretty good for not having to mine a couple thousand blocks yourself. Um, moving beacons and whatever. That's not fun at all. It's more fun to build such a machine here. It's also really repetitive. The only thing that it's really not repetitive is the logic part. Otherwise, the entire machine is just always the same. If it crashes in this way, uh, the only thing you really have to do is that you have to, of course, activate the TNT. <laughs> That's pretty important. And uh, try to get this back again so that it works then you can just push this forwards here with this piston here right okay that was it uh, i hope you enjoyed this i already said that but again <laughs> and uh, see you next time